and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. Well, in our opinion, of course, Bob. Today we're going to show you the easiest way to fix your posture on only five minutes a day. Quite a promise. Yeah, and actually, this is a, this is a fun way to do it as well. You'll see in just a minute why yeah. we say this. Plus, we're going to do a giveaway. We'll show it at the end of the video. Yeah. You'll like this giveaway. It's nice. Yeah, it is. Would you agree? I, I agree. I'm not 100% sure what it is, but I, I'm going to like it because there's none I don't like. All right, so... This, go ahead. Oh, no, go ahead. No, no, Bob, I was... Man, I insist. No, no, please, it's, it's your, your All right, turn, your so turn. for this exercise, you're going to need a kickball. Now, Brad, I don't know, where did you get this one? It was right over there. <laughs> I don't... I think must got online. You stole it from a it's kid, It's a crate. Didn't you? No, I didn't. You know, no, no. I, the neighbor kids, they know better than to <laughs> leave their balls out around miles. I do. T I used to anymore. But no, we got this online, and the crane... These are nice, yeah, these but it, it needs nice to be one. a soft one, and it needs right. to be something that uh, you know works well. You can put some body weight on to, so not just a beach ball. I saw an Amazon link where you could get four of these yeah. for sixteen dollars, and they were just like this. Uh, they look similar. I don't know. I really like these because they remind me the exact kind of balls I used to play That's kickball right. with and dodgeball. Yeah, right? in elementary school. Yeah, exactly. At Mead School. All right, let's get going, Brad. Right. Okay, the first exercise you're going to do with this, you're going to do this twice a day mm -hmm. you're just going to lie down on the floor yep. brad's going to demonstrate and you're going to roll the mid back to, to upper back and what this does is it really opens up the chest and most people are flexed in this upper region here yeah, yeah. and they got the head forward and this is going to reverse all of that yeah all right, can i show them yeah yeah so on the floor like this a carpeted floor works fine uh sometimes better uh, i just like to lay down and and start it here in the lower mid back, and then just roll back and forth. Now, uh, it might take you a little bit to get used to it, but not long. And actually, this really has a nice massaging feel right. to it, and it, so it's relaxing. And then if you bring your arms out like this, look up how he's overhead. opening that chest up. Oh yeah, yeah. I can just feel muscle, it when I yeah. breathe. You, you just breathe in. I bet you I can get another couple liters of oxygen in my lungs. Yeah. The <laughs> nice thing about this is it only takes a minute. Yeah. You know, 60 seconds before you run out the door, give everything a good stretch, and it's going to create that muscle memory for your body that I shouldn't be like this, I should be like this. Exactly, Bob. Plus, you get some natural stretch, gravity stretch here, which is always nice. It's, right. It's uh, just, I guess you could say the lazy man's person uh, way to stretch, and just get those arms out. We got to give credit to Mike who came up with this. Uh, he's not doing the camera today, but um, he often does our camera. Okay, Brad, wake up. It, and also, you can. It's, it's nice because you can go a little bit lower uh, into the low back, and it's still comfortable. For some people, yeah, some people uh, might not, not be. Not like the roller, the six-inch right, roller. Right, that's off limits. It's a comfortable ball. It is. I mean, it's just the way it's designed. So that's two minutes out of your day. One minute, minute in the morning, one minute at night. This is a, like a six inch or eight inch diameter. I would say eight, wouldn't you? I think so. Yeah. My, my hand is eight feet, eight inches eight, long. Eight feet yeah. long. Yeah. Eight feet long. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Next one is going to be throughout the day. I'm uh, assuming you're, you're going to be doing some sitting. Mm -hmm. um, you can't do this in the car, but you can do this anywhere else <laughs> yep. in the seated position. You can do it even in your recliner. Sure. Uh, so you're going to take the ball. You, the, what's nice about the ball, you can put it at different levels. Exactly. So you can just very quickly. I had a school teacher do this. That's all she did. Took away her pain, improved her posture. Sure. So you can just do the same thing. The how do you stretch? Now, when you stretch up like this, I also want you to do a chin tuck. Yep. These are chin tucks. So you're not bringing your head up. You're not bringing your head down. You're just going straight back like someone's going to throw a pie in your face. Yeah, and I would if I had one. I'd yeah, I bet you would. <laughs> so you chin tuck and open the chest at the same time. 30 seconds is all you need. You can move the ball up and down yep. depending on the spot. And boom, You once you get done, you're gonna, your body's going to remember yep. the right way you're supposed mm -hmm. to be, and that corrects your posture. And you'll look forward to doing it because it does feel good. And that school teacher, I'm thinking if she had all of her kids in class – 
have a ball, and they all could do their posture stretch. It, you know, it's so important among kids. It, it is. really is. Uh, I mean, this this is a good one to ask your daughter or son, if you have one, to go ahead and do that, leave a ball. The other thing that's nice about the ball, Brad, is that it reminds you. Mm -hmm. It's that reminder, oh, yeah, I need to do that. Right. And, you know, you could probably get them in different colors if this isn't your favorite, you know. <laughs> sure. Well, All right, let's talk about our giveaway, Brad. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Every week we do a giveaway, and this week we're doing the C2 massage gun. It's the Bob and Brad massage gun. Yeah, C2. That's the really model. Really good ratings on Amazon if you check it out. Check the link out below. Yeah. Well, we've, uh, been, we've been with this model for... Well over a year, yeah, right. sold thousands of them, and they're they're going great. Yeah, and it's got one uh, speed that it starts off on, but it, it actually has five levels of speed. That's right. It's got fairly decent tra travel, travel amplitude, amplitude that amplitude. reciprocates back for it. It's got gets in deep in there. Ooh. It's got five different attachments. Yep, five different heads, and they easily go on and off, just like this. I, I, I'm yeah. Just, Pop. Did, I don't know. Yep. Did you hear that pop? That's kind of fun. So, you know, it's a nice uh, fit in there. This one's a little more aggressive, I'm telling you. I'm going to work you it out. You have to hold it for three seconds to start it. Yeah. Uh, it's a little bit of I'm delay. Gonna, this you is my, use one of my favorite hamstrings. hamstring. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, you want to? I'm sorry. No, you're good. Yeah. So, uh, you know, it's got lots of attachments and it's a great gun. And uh, sign up for the giveaway. Go to bobandbrad.com. Go to the giveaway section, and you can also go to Facebook, our Bob and Brad page. Mm -hmm. It'll be pinned to the top of the page. Right. And anywhere else we, we, we have social media, we'll man mention it. Yeah. Well, one way or another. Oh, we have a podcast, too. Oh, that's right, Bob. Yeah. I forgot to mention that's my job. Uh, podcasts, and we have some outstanding authors, uh, PhDs, doctors, all kinds of people that really know a lot more than we do, and, and they can uh, learn from them. We have a neurosurgeon on next Monday. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm like... Is that for the back? This guy's going to look at me like I'm a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> That's, yeah, it's for... A, he does a, a non-invasive back surgery. Oh. A, it's still invasive, but less invasive back surgery, that he's like one of the few that does it in Minnesota... He was one of 30 that learned it in the United States. Oh, really? Yeah. So he's a smart guy. Yeah. So uh, tune in for that next week.